Right, so today we're going to learn how to do the elusive Cat5 termination on an RJ45 easy connector. All of the mystery and mastery of the uh, of OnQ type systems are built into this little jack right here. If you can learn this, you're halfway in order to be able to install OnQ stuff. So let's go through a quick little PowerPoint and we'll come back and I'll do one for you. Right, so here's a quick uh, PowerPoint on how to do one of these easy RJ45 connectors. As I said, the, uh, this, this termination represents the heart of what you need to do or need to know how to do wiring-wise in order to be able to install on queue. System design, selling into builders, selling to homeowners, those are all important. If you can't hook the stuff up, then we're not going to get very far. Right? So this is, this is part one of a couple different parts that we need to learn about base installation techniques. Right? It's not very hard. I can teach you how to do it in about five minutes here, and that's what our goal is. So we're going to keep it easy and not try and overcomplicate things. And it does take a bit of practice. A few repetitions of these. Imagine your uh, your infrastructure center when you've got 15 phone, uh, six rooms of audio, a couple rooms of data, and uh, eight rooms of intercom. You're going to have quite a few of these terminations to do. So you really need to learn how to do them right. right? So that's what we're going to walk through real quick here. Uh, and the gold standard is less than two minutes. You should be able to do each of these connectors in under two minutes. Now for the demonstration I'm going to take a little bit longer than that but at my best I'm about a minute 47 or so and once you do about 25 of them in a row either your fingers are falling off or you're ready to go so off we go with how to do it. Right? So the things you'll need to have in front of you over on there on the right uh, you're going to have your modular plug and hand tool the, uh, the easy connectors themselves and some sort of cat5 stripping tool along with uh, what I didn't mention there is the uh, some sort of cutting, cutting implement whether it be a set of snips or um, or just a set of dikes or something. Right? But you can see I'm not going to read all these uh, little little independent bullets to you, but they're really quite easy to do. The main feature here is that once you feed the wires all the way through the connector, you can see the wi the color code uh, and be guaranteed that you got them lined up right, which is always the biggest problem that we had in the past. Right? So make sure you've got these four things, uh, one of which is not pictured, which is your snips. You should have those in your tool belt anyway uh, when you're going to do one of these connectors. Right. So, start off with your uh, your connector. You're going to get your wire ready, right? Strip off about two inches of the outer jacket. Use the wonderful, as we showed you before, the OnQ Cat5e cable stripper. Uh, and make sure that you don't cut the wire. So you want to, uh, st when you're stripping it, you want to wind the, and I'll demonstrate this here in a minute again. Uh, you're going to wind the strip around and open up the jaws as you take it off of the wire, not sliding it off, and that way you don't nick the conductors that are underneath. Right? You straighten, straighten excuse me, and align those wires according to the right color code, 568A, always A, which is the following, which is uh, white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. I'm going to say those things probably about 20 times over the next few minutes here. Uh, so white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. And I sort of sing that to myself as I do these things and everybody makes fun of me about it. Uh, but you trim the, the wire, uh, the pair of wires into the with the cutter that's built into the tool, and that way they're cut off in an even length. So when you go to feed them through the uh, the connector, they all slide into the nice little tracks that are in there, and they're pretty easy to work with, right? So you insert the wires into the Easy RJ45 connector, as is pictured in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, feed them all the way through so you can see the actual color alignment. Make sure that you've got it uh, all the way out. And you're going to make sure that the jacket, the blue jacket of the wire, whatever color Cat5 you're in, is underneath the strain relief thumb that's built into the connector. Again, we'll show you all this when we uh, when we go through it. And then you verify your wire location, orientation, uh, and that the, the the colors are matched up right. That's what that's saying. Right. Then when you go to do it, when you go to crimp it, you um, you put the connector into the tool, crimp it down nice and tight. When I crimp, I'll usually wiggle the wires back and forth because it's supposed to be cutting the wires at the same time. A lot of the time they don't just fall off. They kind of give them a little wiggle. And then they'll pop off the back end. You should, um, oh yeah, forgot the biggest, most important part. When you're feeding the wire through the connector, you always want to be looking at those gold contacts. If you're looking down at the tab, you're going to get them backwards, right? So the, the gold contacts should be facing you when you're doing it. And the way I remember that is, this is a golden opportunity for you. So you want to be looking at gold the whole time that you're doing it. All right, so you feed the wires through, crimp it down, take off the excess. Uh, you check the jacket, make sure the strain relief is okay. Uh, make sure that the uh, the both ends of the cable didn't terminate. Right, so here we're gonna do a demo for you of how to do one of these wonderful Cat5 
uh, RJ45 Easy Terminations. Again, making sure you got your all your tools there. You got your on cue Easy RJ45 crimper. It is a special crimper uh, that no that very few other guys make, and it uh, it does some special stuff. Make sure you got your snips. In my case, I'm just going to use a nice little multi tool, and then you've got uh, your uh, RJ or excuse me, your Cat5 specific stripper piece of Cat5 RJ45 Easy type crimp connection, and off we go. So we got our thumbs up. We got all our tools. All right, so again, as we said before, I'm going to strip off about two inches. So you put the jaws there around your Cat5, give it a couple of twirls, open the jaws back up, take the Cat5 out. Don't just rip them out. All right, then you pull off your your shielding there. You got four tightly bound pairs there. I'm going to take my uh, what in this case is my snips. I'm going to cut off the insulation that's in there. All right, there's a little extra piece of insulation. I want to get that out of my way. That's just uh, going to get messy later on. All right, so I'm done with that tool. So I'm going to fan out my four pairs. All right, looking at them from right to left. I've got my green pair here on the far outside. I'm going to put my orange pair back behind it, sort of facing straight backwards. I've got my blue pair facing basically straight towards me. All right, green, blue, orange is back here in the back. I'm going to push the brown off to the right. So if you're looking at it directly, this is what it looks like. I've kind of got them in a little... Uh, plus type formation, right? So I'll start on twisting the green one. Again, the order that you're shooting for is TIA 568A, which is white green, and then green, and then white orange, then solid blue, then white blue, then solid orange, then white brown, and brown, right? So get them nice and untwisted there. And again, I'm saying the color scheme to myself, white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. I'm going to go ahead and start getting them nice and straightened out using your thumb and forefinger. Just kind of pull the twists out of the wires. You know, they retain that uh, kind of waviness. And you, want, you want to really get rid of as much of that as you can. Try and get the wires nice and straight before you try and feed them through the connector. Especially pay attention to the base. If you've got a lot of twists down here at the very base of the wire where it goes into the jacket, you're going to have problems feeding it through the connector when it comes that time. And that's the last thing in the world you want to deal with then because you've already invested a bunch of time in this sucker, right? Hopefully you're not. But uh, white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. I'm going to pull them sort of straight, right? Starting getting them in line in the, in the order that I'm going to want to to crimp this sucker in. Then I'm going to use my uh, crimp tool here to cut them off to a nice even length. You see the blue one kind of broke on me, so I'm going to cut them all down to about that same blue one's length there. And you just use the uh, the blade that's here built into this tool, and you should be good to go there. You know, it shouldn't need a special. You can use your dikes too. I used to always use those. All right, so you just kind of clip those off, nice even length. Oop, brown one's still kind of hanging out there. Just kind of clip them off there too. All right, so now we got a nice even set of wires. They're all lined up right. White, green, green, white, orange. All right, and then solid blue, and then white, blue, and then orange, white, brown, brown. All right. Again, making sure your color order is correct. You're saying that color pattern to yourself over and over again. White, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. All right. You pick up your connector, making sure that the gold contacts are facing you. Not the tab. You want to be looking at the gold contacts when you feed them through. Looking at gold, baby, because this is a golden opportunity. Looking at gold. I guarantee you you'll make that mistake at least once. All right, you got them all lined up right. Nice and tight little formation there. Looking at gold, white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. We feed them into the, uh, the connector there, making sure you're nice and straight and stiff. All your wires should just slide right in. Sometimes you'll have to monkey around with them just a little bit to get them to, to feed in there. All right, so I got my orange one wanting to flop, my white orange one wanting to flop around that blue one. That's always a pain for you. So again, you get them nice and straight. Feed them through. Check them. White, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. You want to make sure you got it nice and fed all the way through there, right? All the wires are through. You check it one last time. Make sure that your jacket right there is all the way underneath the thumb, right? Underneath the thumb of your uh, your wire or the uh, of the strain relief. Feed into your connector, right? Give her a good solid crimp, right? The wire should pop off if they don't. Just wiggle them back and forth a bit, and then your connector's done, right? Again, you check your colors, make sure they're aligned all right, make sure you get all the excess off of there. But that's it, fellas.